Hello everyone, welcome back to another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you how you can use email address on your iMessage or FaceTime after updating your iPhone device to the latest version of iOS. So now let's get started. First of all, here we have open setting, then scroll down, then tap on general, then tap on soft update and make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS, then you will have to update your iPhone device to the latest version. Then after that, again, open setting, then tap on your Apple ID profile. Then here you will see this type of interface here. We have to tap on sign in and security. So here you will see this type of interface here. Make sure that you have entered your email address here. If you don't have entered your email address here, you have to enter your email address and verify it to your Apple ID. Then after that, go back and again, open setting. So after that, here we have to scroll down and here search for iMessage and FaceTime. So here we have to search for iMessage here. So you will see this type of interface here. You will see that here is option of send and receive. Here you will see your email address and your mobile phone number. Here you have to select your email address instead of mobile number. Then after that, go back and again open FaceTime. Also select your email address instead of your mobile phone number so here you have to select your email address instead of mobile phone number so after that in this way you can use your email address instead of mobile phone number on your facetime and iMessage on your iphone or ipad device so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos thanks for watching this video